Are we gonna cutscene? Yeah, there we go. Crystal and Crystal. Should have been like this. I can be I don't wanna beat him up. Oh you beat Tricky up? Oh, I haven't done that yet. I've done it to wake him. Um, but I haven't done it like otherwise. I don't, I don't like him. I don't want to be vindictive though. No, he is actually useful. Um, you need him for a lot of um, things that need to be set on fire. Um, uh, what is it? He digs for secrets. Oh, we've... <laughs> nice boob shot. Um, tricky. Oh, we can't warp dinosaurs. Dialogue errors here. There's too much other crunchy sound going on. Booba, yeah. That's because Crystal... Fox is shorter than Crystal. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, so all we get is boob shots. Because <laughs> it's in letterbox mode. Um, if I turn off letterboxing, I wonder if that would stop it. Um, but I think it does that for all the cinematics. Fox has a thing... No, I mean, yeah same uh we we like us girl that can uh that looks down on us in a in a physical sense um that's my evade button is it fox no it's not in it if if you could hear the dialogue you could you would hear that he was being immensely sarcastic at that point Downgraded the camera shots for GameCube. Yeah, they did. Yeah, this is the this is the teenagers edition, the edition that I would have really wanted when I was uh, seventeen and playing this game. We stand tall women with big booba. Absolutely. Really good. Moderately tall women, moderately big women. Yeah. I am. Uh, I am. I am distinctly average. So a lot, of, <laughs> a lot of people are taller than me, and have bigger and have bigger booba. I do not have the. Oh, I need my fireflies. Where are they? Oh. Beat up diners and steal their eggs. I do. I'm a fox, I need eggs. I need eggs to survive. Egg. Ah! Oh. Damn it. Sorry, Crystal. Destroying your knees. I have to destroy your knees so we can see you. Uh, uh, do I have more fireflies? I thought I bought a bunch. I do. I have eight. Ah! I love these, these half-life sound effects. I should play Black Mesa again. I last played it in my in my uh, before I had any of my fursuit or uh, B tube or avatar or anything. So I uh... whoops. Now I can do it and and V tube and be scared. Maybe I should do opposing force. I think that was having an update coming soon. I missed that game. That was my favorite because he had the pet lizard gun. Wait. Ah, definitely take the time to get there. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is a long time. I'm on year two. So I guess I have longer to... I do have longer to go. I like how they're coming in now. They just doubled my progesterone. Um, and that feels good. I like that. Hunt down the Freeman. Yeah. Feels good. It's, I, at the moment, I've got that affirming growing pain uh, in, in my chest. If I lie down on them too much or if I... If I adjust my bra too too harshly, I will uh, be like, "Oh yeah, there it is. They're still growing, little 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 titty nubs." There you are. Oh god, it's timed. All right, we can go for it. Woo! Oh shit. Bollocks. No! 
unfair. Come on, Crystal, you can do this. Run. <laughs> oh, I was so close. Oh, crap. I forgot where I was going. And I went the wrong way. You really have no room for error. I went around in a circle. Okay, so I can just go up all the way to the edge. Down. Oh! oh I'm wasting fireflies. That's the hole, right? Okay, so I can go... I can't go that way. I have to go all the way around the room because that that bit is in the way. But I will immediately turn right. Okay. Hunt down the Freeman? I don't know that game. Okay. Run, 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 run. Lantern time. Turn right. Let me run. Wait, it's not that middle bit, is it? Nope. Ah, fuck. I fucked it. I double guessed myself. Shit. Ay! Oh. Hey, that was a Hail Mary in the dark. I didn't know it was going to work. I thought about playing bad games, but I have such a backlog of, of games I actually want to play that it's like... I, at the moment, I don't know uh, when I'm going to have time to play, like, leisure games. Yeah! It's a Half-Life sequel fan game. Oh, dear. I could have just... No, I thought I thought you... Um, I thought you dropped the barrel if you did that. I could well be wrong. I have not tried it. I was too nervous. Excuse me. Oh, this starts moving. Oh no! Oh no! Ah! Ah! Hey! Nice. We are a strong, independent fox who blows everything up. What are you doing here? I forgot about you. Ah, uh, you're gonna shoot me. Oh, you can't get me. That's nice. Green, red, green. Nice. KFC? <laughs> yeah. Crystal fried chicken. Uh, leave me alone. Ah! Oh, do I have to destroy you? That would make sense. All right, cool. <laughs> you cast these aspersions on my name. We do not have fingers. Ah! We have paws. Oh, I'm gonna die. There we go. It's button time. Nice. I, I love how hench crystal is because you can like bench press this entire keg on one arm and just goes with it. Smack about these dinosaurs. Crystal is goals. Many. I have not yet seen actually a Crystal and Diane Foxington team up and I feel like they would be unstoppable uh, aren't fingers parts of pause um right ah! eee, thank you eee, aren't fingers part of pause I think they're called like poor digits aren't they poor poor eee. <laughs> eee. thank you it is wonderful to have you um, poor, poor, poor digits. 
You bastard. Eat my stuff. And keep eating it, because you're obviously not full enough. Ooh, you're right. Damn. You really wanted it. You took it. Took more than normal. Yeah. What do we... Where are we going? We have to go up. Right. Uh, oh. There we go. Ah. And the squid time. Ooh. Nice. Oh, there's no music. Ow. She is very assertive. She should be. She deserved this entire game and it got taken away from her. So this is revenge now. Or oh, can we go in there? We cannot. She's bold, and she's strong, and she doesn't need clothes. We like that a lot. So should we all be living. Whoa. Okay, I'm not assertive enough to have to deal with that by myself just yet. Woo! Fantastic pose getting that. Ah! No! Oi! You mean. There we go. Egg makes everything better. No! Yeah! Ah! Ow! Oh, go away! Wow! You... Everyone wants a piece of the blue fox. Oh, that goes down. What the heck was that? Where are you? That sounded so loud. <laughs> Where? Are you below me? Oh, I have the... Ooh. How do I zoom in? What? There we go. That's what we need. She's got enough. She's got enough cake. She's got enough cake for the whole bakery. She's up there. What does that do? That doesn't give us the crystal thingy yet. Diane is a character. Weirdly pro establishment. <sighs> She's actually trying to make a change, though. Like, it's the kind of progressive, like, change that's like, I don't know. She's goals in many different ways. Are we gonna cut scene? Yeah, there we go. Crystal and Crystal. Should have been like this. Not at all, like, made for the male gaze at all with the sexy saxophone and, and all this, like, stuff. Bear in mind these characters were brother and sister in the first one, I guess they... They went proper hard with the saxophone, though. She's cool. They're both cool. <laughs> what am I doing? Next shot. I would, I would, I would stand like, yeah, Diane, very second. I would stand star-crossed lesbian fox game. You prefer wolf? That's fair. Wolf is also cool. I like them both, but Diane is like, Diane to me was like, oh yeah, I have a new level of myself to achieve. Uh, where do I go? 
What was that camera angle? It's because Crystal is taller than Fox in the model replacement. So where it would be face, it's Titty. Yeah. Fox is short king, apparently. Although actually, I don't think he doesn't have to be called king. I Wolf Wolf is Wolf is above. In terms of like Star Fox hotness to me, it's Wolf Crystal Fox. Those three, and then Falco. No, you're not supposed to be playing as Crystal. I mean, in the totally legitimate GameCube game, yes. This is a uh, special edition of the uh, original game. She's so much better. Fox, yeah, Wolf is a daddy. Oh. Chrysovore. I got this game straight from Rare. Of course I did, yeah. Yeah, I, they're, they're friends of mine. Everyone's friends in England. What happens if you run into Crystal in the story? We just did. Keeping us back. Why? Oh, a big scarab bag. Medium scarab bag. What is it? Yes, I know. I'm guessing it's Cape Claw. Seeing as he mentioned the beach. It's not at all. You know what would be very confusing if you were not playing this on a totally legitimate GameCube uh, is you would, uh, if you were, say, using an Xbox 360 controller and getting very confused as to where all the buttons were. I have to keep looking down at it when every time you have to do anything. Let's save. Falco, Wolf, Fox, also Crystal. Uh, okay. Safety of my young. Same brain cells. <laughs> ah! Totally was not paying attention. I ha I have uh, I have a different space bunny in my life, and it's not Bucky O'Hare. Um, Bucky O'Hare is pretty. Do bad girls need to get clean? I mean, I'm in the rain. Bug time. Oh, this rain is destroying the audio. Yeah, Cyrus knows what's up. Hey. Space Benui. No, being in the rain is not the same as showering and being clean. Oh dear. Hey, I can get the perform dead now. Yay. Oh, thank goodness. We actually have some, some reasonable cleanliness going on with the game speed. Uh, this way. Whoop. Apologize if I speak loudly during those moments, but I can't hear over the sound in my headphones. Oh. Tiny crush on Slippy. Slippy! <sighs> Slippy could be, like, absolute cinnamon roll if he weren't annoying. And it just would t just take a little tweak on the writing to change that. If I were in charge of a writing a Star Fox series, I would redeem Slippy. Excuse me. I would also uh, 
re-include, uh, was it Faye? Uh, who's the Lynx and the dog who were going to be in Star Fox 2? That'll be a hell of a lot more LGBT. Absolutely it would. I would, I would like, if I could, I'd probably canonize Fox and Wolf relationship because I think that'd be awesome. Faye and Mew. It is Mew. Okay. 60 scarabs. 60 scarabs. There you go. Num num num. Wonderful. There are people. Um, Star Fox. Did they, did they release Star Fox Two for the Switch with a Nintendo subscription? Kiss Tian and do that. Slippy can team up with Preston Gravy. Preston Garvey. Why do I know that name? Ow! I don't enjoy that. I'm going the wrong way. That's the entrance. Fall out for a minute. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. There's another settlement under attack. I could do that. Yeah. That was close. Uh, did we do it? What a ridiculous road. Why would you do that? One faction left to rotten Concord. Proper otter rip. <laughs> yeah. Yay! I need to. I need to add more otters. Oh, Jala. Yes, I remember that. Yeah, he's actually a named character as well. I'd forgotten. I need to give him a line in the in the last book. <sighs> Hydrate. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> it does have an otter. <sighs> Hi, Figer. Yes, we're playing Star Fox Adventures. Totally legitimate version. Official, super, super correct Nintendo version on my GameCube hardware. Let's, play. Let's not. You are sometimes Otto. Very good, Otto. We do like Otto. Whoops. Uh, is that... That's not where I came down, is it? No, that's where I came down. So what's up there? A little platform. Ooh. <laughs> it's a special test version, yes. I got a demo disc. What was down the bottom then? What can we see with my special eyes? Ooh, what happens if we go down? Hmm. Wait, can I even go down? Go, go down. That's a down bit. So this must, that's Cape Claw, because that's very beachy. I'm gonna have a look at it. <laughs> she grew me and mother. Yeah. It's not like they're always just plot points or whatever. There is a hole in the floor. Yeah, there we go. This is probably somewhere, oh. I must need to do something else because I cannot get over there. There must be another thing. Oh, I have to come up from that way. Look, I go shooty. Okay. Who would I be if I was written by Miyamoto? I don't know. What would I be like? I don't know. I worry. Um... See, the thing about the, like, main character, I never... In a weird way, I never liked main characters because I always found them to be kind of arrogant and showboaty, and that was definitely not me. I Yeah, I think I'd probably be like a Yoshi. I always liked Yoshi. I would be useful and kind of, like, sweet and, like... But not... Because the main characters always suffer from... I didn't say main character syndrome, but, you know, in, like... Like, Fox is always like, hey, I'm cocky and I'm... Uh, and has all these, like... Um, 
comebacks and and jokes and things like that and i i, I want to be useful and i want to be nice and there aren't many video game characters that are just like nice so i would probably but i wouldn't want to be tricky either because i would not want to be a sidekick i wouldn't want to be someone a bit more like peppy ish um or or like uh zelda or Sheik, i think drop in do something useful and then like disappear and do do background things um I don't want to be a third Luigi? No, I want to be better than Luigi. Luigi gets screwed over. Saying Hideo Kojima? I've probably not played enough Hideo Kojima games. Ah! It's a big one. Favorite character ever ever. Anime rival that has no chance to actually surpass main character. Yeah. Woo. I always like the secondary characters. I had a habit of picking favorite characters who died in in series. I don't know why. Why would I be a nightmare? Why? Well, I would not be like Raiden. Played Metal Gear, the second Metal Gear. Long, long time ago. Ah! Bug! Yay. Uh, oh, your brother has that curse too? Uh, it's really annoying. And I think that's why I started writing my books, because I, was, I wanted to see the kind of characters that I wanted to see carry through the entire story. This whole story to be about the kind of characters that were my favorite characters. So all my characters are my favorite characters. Because I didn't like... Series I remember is a Mysterious Sisters of God. Trans rights are human rights. Stay down. Yeah, that's how I would be as a... Uh... Oh, this is the same refrain as the saxophone music. Didn't realize that. Um, anyway, uh, what was I saying? All my all my characters are my favorite characters. Yeah. Friends will ask him what his face. <laughs> I see. Okay. Wow. Reliability is rather frustrating. Yeah. Well, the thing is, it, the uh, writers will tend to to make something dramatic rather than actually like having realistic or uh, escalating jeopardy they will just kill characters is what happened in game of thrones um they just in order to invoke drama to make things dramatic and to heighten the stakes they didn't have you didn't develop personal reasons for these things to be uh, to to be a problem they just killed people and then it was like the tension was more in like oh they're they're cute um and, and I don't believe in doing that with characters. I, if I kill a character, it has to be for a reason. Um, and I want to show that it has meaning. I don't believe in just arbitrarily killing them either on screen or off screen just to heighten tension. There has to be development that come from it. There has to be a story reason. And I, I almost went that route. And actually, the, the thing that I did do... Actually, some people have not read through my first book, so I don't know if I can really say what happens in it. Um, I have done similar things. Um, come here. Um, oh. But... There's a... There's a... If art was written by Tetsuya Nomura, probably not anywhere. Many belts, yes. Be accompanied in scenes by solemn piano music. I need to find my friend. I could, I'd be, I could be ephemeral. I could be, I could be enigmatic and and useful. Um. Ah! Come back. 
when I was writing my first book, I found TV tropes, which is both good Fine. and bad, because it, you could see when tropes yeah, were yeah. done well and when they were done badly. And I found this thing, or oh, gold bar. Uh, there's this trope called uh, Break the Cutie, and that was one that I know that I very consciously did in my book. Um, it was the character that effectively has the least deserving reason to be hurt. Wait up, Do that. Um, oh, I just did those wrong. Whoops. I want to talk to you. Oh, how many scarabs do I need? You haven't told me how many I need. Tell me... Oh, uh, you know what? I probably don't have enough anyway. Uh, yeah, I know you know where you speak of. Yeah. Well, RPG is a little different because it's like you you have a character and you have the backstory and you've kind of like pre-broken them. Story is like, although sometimes you have that like that nice kind of tragedy. Um, that that feels like it fits because you have that. <gasps> Um, emotional like resonance and I don't know I think if it if it has meaning if it is in the journey the emotional journey that you have as part of your RPG character then it's different because my my self insert fan fictions I do really nasty things to myself because it's weirdly affirming in a way it's like an avatar for things, other frustrations that you can't get out anywhere else. That is a very rare design. That that character is like a rare design. Oh, I think you're right. They look like they could have come straight from Banjo Kazooie. Fine. This is great content. Fantastic camera work. Oh, there's another gold bar. Ah! Kingdom Hearts won memories. But yeah, they do that a lot in JRPGs as well. Fine. Uh, what was it? Final Fantasy X as well? At the end of that? You dug up electricity. Good job. You didn't beat it. Ah. Oh, money. Ah, many monies. That was a good amount. Wait for me. Uh, she won't get out. Oh, it's a whirlpool. Oh, stretch. Oh, my shoulders. There's something near. I know there is. I saw it before you did. What is it? I didn't see what it was, and I picked it up. Uh, let's give you some more mushrooms, Tricky. The bosses are just frustrating for no reason. Oh, I see. Oh, it's another beach. Oh, I haven't even been over there yet. Oh, that looks like something you could burn down. Oh! Yeah. I really love, I actually really like discussing writing. Um, I want to talk about it more, but I, I, it's kind of hard to like have a place to do it. I thought about having a, a stream of my own writing where I, whoops, sorry Tricky, um, where I talk about fairy world building and, and things like that. Um, but I feel like I don't know how pe how many other people would be interested in that. Um, it's probably something I want to like project out as well, so people know to to come along and 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 want to be around for. 
I mean, actually, I guess I could put in a panel for Oxford, comma, which is the online furry writers convention. I sound, I was too nervous to try and do that last time. Ah, it's ooh, hello. Ah, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get chopped up by the dinosaur. Ah, there you go. Oh, please. You're so big and I'm very small, but I will beat you up. But it's like, Oxford comma, there are so many other furry whiters who have been doing it for longer than I have. I would feel very self-conscious trying to present myself as a, as a weird kind of, uh, like an authority when there are other people who would have other world building things to do. Now we have enough. I feel like I would be taking attention away from other people who would probably do a better, more professional job of talking about story building in Furry World specifically, that have done, mm, I don't know, more? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I would hope I have a very dedicated fan base. I, need, I keep meaning to get a Sonic version myself. I have, there's one of my favorite artists and really cool person, uh, OC Porkwince, uh, also called Werewolf Teeth. Um, I very, if you're into Sonic art, I very, very much recommend uh, looking up Werewolf Teeth. Um, because she, uh, is super cool. She drew one of the first pictures of me in fantasy garb as a, a bard. Ooh, there's a walk there. How do we do that? Um, yeah, she's really cool. I like her a lot. I, I need to dig out and, and share that picture uh, that she drew for me because it, it's it's wonderful. Oh, you want scallops? Okay, sure, all right. I give scallops. All right, cool. Where are my scallops? I'm gonna give you scallops and I'm gonna beat up all your friends. Oh, she's on Discord. Ah, yay! Super awesome. Yeah, super, super awesome. I love OC. She was uh, one of the first artists I got to know on Twitter. It's always been someone I have uh, really, really liked. Always been super encouraging. Um, stories and everything. Uh, would love the chance to get to Australia sometime and, and meet her. Yeah, I think Sonic characters with clothes are underrated. I've, I like the like the ones that have quotes. Oh, I could have got up here with that. Oh, well. You took my money. Oh, where kitty hybrid? Oh, I hadn't seen that AU. Or have I seen that AU? I may have done. Oh! Crystal. Where are you going? What's happening to me? Oh. I love that idea. I need to see this. I know, I'd seen, yeah, I'd seen that you had, uh, that uh, she works like a Sonic character. And I appreciate this. When I heard the shop Coming to Cape Core. I oh, I have it already. Good news for you. Well, thank you. It's just as lucky for you that I went round and scavenged it all already. What hurt me? Oh, it's you, you little shit. You bastard. Where are the gold bars? Give gold. Got it all fast. Pango win Discord. Do I have to give them to you one by one? You're gonna keep them on that wickety platform? Oh, there they go. Hey! We got them all. I will steal them. Bop. It's wet fox time. 